Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for new power. And this one is the GA502 DU model. Customer wrote, no power. If we look here, what the customer wrote, a couple of days leading up to the failure, the system would reboot without warning. While using laptop, the Windows displayed a message. So it looks like Windows displayed a message, system would reboot, and now the laptop would not power on. Now we did confirm the laptop not powering on and we already have the back cover removed. I'm gonna inspect the board and see if we can figure it out from the side of the board. If not, then we're gonna have to remove the board and work on it from the back. But most Asus laptops, it seems like the problem is front of the board and not the back. So we do not waste our time to remove the board unless we have to. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the charging port area of the laptop. We're gonna measure for a short. We can measure for a short on either one of the power MOSFETs or we can measure at the current sense resistor. Let's measure at the current sense resistor, meter in diode mode. And if we check here, look at this. Wow, at that short. One second in and we already got it. We have a short circuit. If we go to resistance mode, yeah, I'm reading 0 0.1 ohms. We have it that short. Anytime we read a that short on the current sense resistor that's next to the power connector, it's very likely a V-core issue. CPU V-core. That's our CPU. That's our GPU. And V-core is down here. So how do we know if any one of those MOSFETs or DR MOSFETs are causing the problem? We're going to have to measure. I work on those laptops every single day and I know them by heart. So without wasting any time, measuring every component on the board, schematics, board diagrams, whatever the case may be, we're gonna jump straight to the point. If I'm not able to figure it out, then we're gonna have to do plan B and take another route. If we measure here, meter in diode mode, and let's measure the gate on this MOSFET, we are reading 0 0.44 voltage drop, that's perfect. 0 0.67, 0 0.45, 0 0.65, and we have 0 0.45. Somebody is knocking on the door and the door is open. What's going on? Is it okay? Come on in. I don't know if you're giving me a message or something. And the device was which one? A PlayStation. PlayStation, PlayStation 5? Mm -hmm. If we sent you an email to I pick up... I don't have the email. Oh, you did not receive an email. No, but you told me yeah, one two, week. Two okay, weeks. I'll check for you. I'll check for you. Zero, six, zero. We did send you an email. Look. We sent you an email on 12-6, on December 6. Sent you, look, look, here. Dolly sent you an email on 12-6, and it says your device is fixed and ready for pickup. So Northridge fix. Look for Northridge fix. On December 6. And the email was sent at what, 12.44 uh, p.m. Unless we have your email wrong, then that could be the problem. Yeah, I got you. you got it? Yeah. You see? You could have picked it up on December 6th. too much email. <laughs> <laughs> we sent the customer an email on December 6th to let them know that their PlayStation 5 is fixed and ready for pickup. I actually did a YouTube video on it where we replaced two USB connectors and an AGMI connector. So they came in asking, why didn't you get back to us and all that stuff? I told them that we sent you an email on December 6th. He went to his email December 6th and he found the email. And he embarrassed himself. Just checking the DR MOSFETs, make sure we do not have a short. And this one here does not look too good. Look at the solder joint on top. It looks a bit bulging out. We do not have a short and we do not have a short. So there's no reason to think that we have a bad DR MOS. But look at the one right next to it. What? It looks like somebody may have soldered in this area. Probably not. Because the thermal pad on top looks factory. 
It does not look like that pad was removed. So it looks like this chip suffered a lot of heat. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, just based on visual inspection, we can tell that this chip does not look good. And like I said, we know that nobody has been here because of that thermal pad on top. It looks intact. But that chip suffered a lot of abuse. Let's measure the one right next to it. So as of now, the problem should be this guy right here. Uh, we do not have anything else wrong other than this guy. Let's measure up on top here. Zero point thirty six. We have our RAM right there. And we should read low resistance on this coil. Let me go to resistance mode, measure here. And we have 91 ohms. Back to diode mode, 0 0.46, 0 0.56. All right, so without wasting any time, let's go ahead and remove the component and see what happens. and out now we can go back here and see if we still have a short I'm thinking no we do not have a short but we're gonna have to find out meter in diet mode and are we gonna hear a beep like a long beep or a short one and we have a short one perfect <laughs> zero point 25 a bit low because the board is still hot but we do not have a short anymore we got it all we have to do is replace the dr mass and we can try again before we replace the dr mass let's prep the pads Where is my anti-glare light? By the way, we have the anti-glare light back in stock. And I was afraid that we're not going to get them until after New Year. But we got them yesterday. If you are waiting to get one, you can log into our site, northwishfix.com, click on shop. And you can buy all your tools from there. Check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. Right, so I grabbed a bunch of ASUS donor boards and we're going to have to go through them and see if we can get a similar chip. I grabbed those for now. We should be able to find what we are looking for. It looks like I have exactly the same board and it also looks like I used one, two, three, four MOSFETs from this board. All right. We have the port. But before we grab a component, 
let's measure make sure we do not have a short let's measure this one and just by doing this quick measurement I'm gonna assume the part is good Right here. Very nice. And since the holidays are coming up, Christmas and New Year, why not keep this solder ball here? Just for decoration. No? All right, let's remove it. I really thought you would like it. I do not celebrate Christmas because Christmas is not really a holiday. It's not religious either. It was routed all the way back from pagans. It was a pagans festival. And somehow people started to celebrate it and do what pagans used to do. Now you have the reindeer, you have Santa Claus, gifts, decorating a tree. Where did all that come from? And then you have Thanksgiving, where people are only thankful once a year. Why can't you be thankful every day? Why do you have to eat turkey to be thankful? Let's check on Big Boss. I gave him the laptop so he can reassemble fans and heat sink before we try it. And he's reassembling heat sink and fans. We just fixed this one. We are working on this one. We are working on this one and we have another Asus laptop. And we got a lot of packages today, a lot of packages. We have a lot of work to do. And I do not even know what's inside the packages. My bench is full and we're not going to be able to get to those until... I do not know when. It looks like a motherboard here. We have a laptop, we have a laptop, we have another 12.9 tablet. We do a lot of the first generation and second generation 12.9s. We have a motherboard here. We have I do not know what here. We have a tablet, we have a laptop, a laptop, an older iPod, and <laughs> I do not know when we're going to be able to get to all those boxes, but we are working non-stop. What's inside this box? It looks like a laptop. Yeah, it's a laptop. And we have another, look at this, we have another 12.9 
right here. How many 12.9s do we have? A lot. Okay, so plug it in. Do we see a light? Yes, we do see a light. And yes, the laptop is powering on now. And do we have anything? Yes, yes. Very nice. Laptop is fixed. And big boss, as always, the boss of all bosses. Thank you very much. We're all done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video. Which one is this?